Hey, we've got a much bigger page speed 2023 video that we released early this year. Go and watch it. But I want to cut to the chase and just share with you the quick tips that you need to put in place for your WordPress website. If you want to make sure you optimize page speed, this is only relevant if you're using Elementor. Go and disable your default colors and fonts from your theme because you want to be in complete control of that. But that's just for Elementor. When it comes to the features or what used to be known as the experiments with Elementor, go and have a look at the screen in terms of what I have got active. Now, depending on your page builder or your theme, you will have the ability to upload custom fonts. Go and do that. In terms of Elementor, you would go to Elementor, custom fonts, go and click add new, give it a title, add font variation. Now, only load up fonts you need, and this goes for any page builder or theme you're using. If you're not using italics, do not upload them. And if you're only using like normal and maybe light fonts and maybe a bold font, again, just upload what you need and always go for a WAF2. WAF2 is a compressed type of of font much much better than TTF and if you can only get hold of TTF files don't worry go to fontsquirrel.com the link will be in the video description go and click web font generator and it will convert them into WAF2 for you and believe me it is a big difference in the size of the file now when it comes to WordPress settings we have quite a few for permalink general and all of that and you will easily be able to sort those out but the one you really want to be worrying about is the media I set all of my sizes to be zero and I under tick both of these boxes otherwise I'm creating unnecessary duplicates there is no problem with the featured images or anything at all when you zero these out and another big tip whenever you add images into your media library make sure you webp them you can use plugins to optimize on the fly sometimes they're premium and you got to pay for them there's a limit as to how many you can do or they're very very slow or they don't do it properly and they might error or miss out on an image and I convert them to be webp I'm going to maintain hundred percent of the scale and size. I'm going to change it to be 85% image quality, which is perfectly fine. And here's the result. Almost 25 megabytes in size has shrunk down to 1.6. It's it's like, what, 5% of the size now? There are three plugins that I add onto my website that you can get for free, which are massively important for optimization. The first one is Fast Press. The second one is WP Meteor and the third one is Code Snippets. I'm going to quickly show you the settings for each of these. What I like about FastPress is just how simple and easy it is. It's all kind of on one page. Here's your settings for your plugin. You can see what I've turned off. I've turned all the images off as well. You could keep them on, but I don't find any benefit to them. And then for the HTML CSS bit down here, load scripts asynchronously, I also turned that one off as well. Then we have WP Meteor. This one again is really, really simple. You just install it and I've said delay until the first interaction. Now, if you do find that your navigation menu, there's a bit of a delay or any images in say a carousel or something aren't loading up, then just go and drop this down to either be one one second delay or LCP optimization only. You don't have to use WP Meteor. You can use Lightspeed's cache, WP Fastest Cache. I just like to use WP Meteor. And then for your snippets, there is a link in our video description that's going to give you access to all of these snippets. Now, please note though, when you do click the link, if you're not using Elementor, there is a version of this snippet inside that page for Google Font and Ensure Web Font is loaded. So you can still use these on a non-elemental website as well. You don't have to follow these methods, but that was a quick fire round of what you need to be thinking about for page speed optimization. Now, if you are gonna be adding in WooCommerce into your website, I strongly recommend you also install the Asset clean up plugin as well. And it allows you to go through and stop certain JavaScripts loading on your page. But what I've just shown you here should be more than enough for a ton of websites. See you soon.